Hello, Logan Van Beek here from the Netherlands Cricket Side. I'm here to answer some Q&A questions or some questions that were sent through via social media. Uh, so let's get into them. First question is, how is your preparation going? Uh, well, so far we've had six days of quarantine in, uh, in Dubai. Uh, but before that we had a, a, a camp in the Netherlands, uh, we had four or five days where it was about six, hour, six hours uh, throughout the week per day. Uh, and it was a really cool, cool chance to bat uh, on similar-ish wickets as we we're probably going to be facing here in the UAE. Um, so that was really good, but also we had a, a, a club season in the Netherlands. Uh, we probably didn't have as many games as we'd like coming into this uh, preparation phase, but for the next Two weeks, we've got lots of lots of trainings and uh, warm-up games as well. So it's going to be plenty of prep, and I'm sure we're going to be ready come the 18th of November. Next question: What is your favourite activity during the quarantine? Well, I love breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'm hanging out for 8:30, 12:30, and 6:30. Uh, but for the most part, I've just enjoyed ringing people all over the world. Uh, it's kind of, it's been pretty much my day. Yesterday I pretty much talked to maybe six people uh, and spent maybe about six hours on the phone, which was which was pretty cool. Uh, I also like watching movies, uh, a little bit of Netflix, um, doing a bit of reading here and there. Uh, and also we've been doing some team workouts in the morning, which has been quite fun as well. Uh, next question. Who is the hardest bowler to face on the team? Uh, well, the cool thing about our team is that we've got r plenty of really good bowlers who play all over the world. Uh, so the hardest bowler to face, um, I'm going to say Roloff van der Merwe. He's, he's probably the most competitive guy to face, regardless if you're in the nets or in the middle of a game. Uh, Freddie Klaassen is a class bowler. Uh, just recently won the T20 Blast with Kent and played in the 100, uh, but very clever bowler. Um, and I'd say look out for Flippy, for Philip uh, Bosevain with his leg spin. I think he's going to be our secret weapon coming into this T20 World Cup. How, how do you mentally prepare before a game? Great question. Uh, for me, it's controlling the controllables. So that leads from the training leading up to the match. Have I done everything that I wanted to do in preparation for that match during training? And that's, you know, bowling different types of balls, uh, bowling the balls that I'm probably going to bowl in the game coming up, uh, bowling to the type of batsman that I'm probably going to face and practicing those plans. Uh, physically, it's getting enough sleep. Um, and you know, eating right and recovering. Uh, tactically, it's you know doing scouting on on the team that we're facing, coming up with plans, uh, and that all comes into my mental preparation. Is is you know how can I t control everything I, I can control, and then from there to be mentally free and just to go into the game knowing that I've done everything I possibly can. Probably the only thing I really do before uh, I start the day is I, I kind of have about 10 minutes where I visualize how I want to perform that day or you know visualize myself at the ground, visualize myself batting, bowling, and just kind of visualize myself do succeeding in those, in those uh, moments. So that's probably the one mental thing that I, I tend to do, but for the most part is control the controllables. How are you planning your gameplay against spin bowling in the upcoming T20 World Cup? Well, that's uh, another good question. So, a really cool thing is that in the lead up of this World Cup, we've had the IPL here in uh, Abu Dhabi, Dubai and Sharjah. And you literally get the chance to watch the best in the business and play spin every night. So we've had two or three or two, at least two games of IPL most nights. And it's just being able to watch them go about it and, and kind of write a few notes and for this next couple of weeks, definitely going to practice um, what I've been seeing and from the best. So um, that's that's probably been the best way to plan is to watch the best do it. T20 five wicket haul or batting innings of 50 or 20 balls? Uh, I'm going to say batting innings of 
uh, of 50 of 20 balls. Um, I don't necessarily get to bat a lot of balls in T20 batting fun, that's 6 to 11. Um, and I feel like that type of innings really changes the game and puts your team in the best position to succeed. Sometimes wickets uh, are pretty fluky at times in T20 cricket, but I definitely think 50 off 20 balls would, would change the game, so I'll take that. Uh, next question is, what is your favorite song? My favorite song, uh, well, anything Michael Jackson is, is, a, is an easy one. My all-time favorite song, uh, I'm gonna say Ordinary People by John Legend. That's probably the first song that I remember learning the lyrics. Uh, I remember trying to make voice recordings on, on my Nokia 2280 and sending it to my friends and asking them whether you think it's John Legend or myself. So that was uh, a bit of a doozy. But no, that's the one song that uh, every time I hear it, it uh, definitely brings about back a lot of nostalgia and uh, I, I really would love to see John Legend in, in concert as well. So that's my favorite song. Next question, are your dancing skills natural or taught? Are my dancing skills natural? Great question. Great question. Um, dancing is, is something that I, I love to do. It's something I do if I'm needing to pick my mood up. It's something I do love doing on a night out, at a wedding, at a party, um, any chance I get, uh, I love to dance. I love dancing with my fiance. She's a great dancer as well. So definitely something that it was probably naturally in our family where I'm, um, my grandfather's West Indian. He was a great dancer and I grew up with a lot of music and we were dancing a lot with my parents and my brother and sister. And um, it was something I just loved to do and yeah, it was, I still do it to this day. Um, so definitely, definitely I would say a mixture of natural and taught, uh, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Who had hit me the Netherlands? My Dutch is explain, explain climb Beijing Netherlands. I'm definitely trying to learn. Uh, it's something that I, I really, really want to do. Uh, and just to connect more with my, my Netherlands heritage. My father's Dutch. My grandparents came over from the Netherlands to New Zealand in, in the 1950s. And unfortunately, uh, when they settled in New Zealand, they, they wanted to just, just speak English, um, which I thought, which I think was quite common back then. And so unfortunately, my father didn't speak as much Dutch and then that got kind of obviously passed on to us. But now connecting and, and potentially, you know, one day probably moving to the Netherlands for a period of time. Uh, I would love to learn Dutch, so I am learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. And uh, hopefully in a few years I can uh, do this fully in Dutch, which would be really cool. That's all your questions. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully you guys, or everyone's going to be watching the, the World Cup. And we would love all your support, so keep sending messages. Keep liking Instagram, keep uh, following us, uh, and no, thanks very much, and we'll see you later. Cheers.